Hello. Hello. Mr. Hilton? Yes. You are the sole proprietor and owner of the Wizzo Chocolate Company? Yes. Superintendent Parrott and I are from the Hygiene Squad. We're here to discuss with you your box of chocolates entitled the Wizzo Quality Assortment. Ah, yes. If I may begin at the beginning. First, there's the cherry fondue. Now, this is extremely nasty, but we can't prosecute you for that. Agreed. Next, there's number four. Number four, crunchy frog. Ah, yes. Am I right in thinking there's a frog in here? Yes, a little one. What sort of frog? A dead one. Is it cooked? No. What, a raw frog? Yes. There's, we use only the finest, we use only the, we use only the finest baby frogs, dew picked and flown from a rock, cleansed in the shimmering waters, and lovingly frosted with glucose. That's as maybe, but it's still a frog. Well, what else? Don't you even take the bones out? No. Take the bones out, it wouldn't even be crunchy, would it? Superintendent Parrot. <laughs> Superintendent Parrot at one of those. <laughs> We've got to protect the public. People aren't going to think there's a real frog in the chocolate. Superintendent Parrot thought was an almond world. They're bound to think it's some sort of mock frog. A mock frog? We use no artificial colorings or flavorings of the kind. Nevertheless, I advise you in the future to replace the words crunchy frog with the legend crunchy, raw, unboned, real dead frog if you want to avoid prosecution. What about our sales? I am not interested in your sales. I have to protect the public. Now, what about this one? Number five. Yes, it was number five. Um, Ram's Bladder Cup. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what sort of confection is this? It is only the choicest chunks of Cornish Ram's Bladder, emptied, steams, <laughs> flavored. <laughs> And, and garnished with Lark's vomit. Lark's vomit? <laughs> yes. It doesn't say anything in the box about Lark's vomit. Yes, under the bottom, next to Madasolium Gudme. <laughs> I hardly think that's good enough. I think the box should bore a big red label warning Lark's vomit. Our sales would plummet. Well, why don't you move into more conventional areas of confectionery? Like praline or lime cream, a very popular flavor, I'm like to understand. Or raspberry delight. And what about this one? Here it is. Cockroach cluster. <laughs> Anthrax ripple. What's this? <laughs> and what about this one? Spring surprise. Ah, yes, our speciality. Covered in nice milk chocolate. When you pop it in your mouth, stainless steel boats spring out and plunge straight through both cheeks. Well, where's the pleasure in that? If people pop a nice little chucky in their mouth, they don't expect to get their cheeks pierced. In any case, it is an inadequate description of the sweetmeat. I'm afraid you'll have to accompany us to the station. It's a fair call. And no talking to the audience. <laughs>